I knew it. There's two of her. Oh? Ooh, what's this? Three princes are here to see me. My, my. Are you the surprise guests who came in late? Oh, I wish I'd gotten a better look at you. My, it's getting crowded here. Why don't you and I go somewhere else? A land far, far away where no one knows me. If you're my prince, you'd take me there, won't you? Come on, pretty please? Wow! Oh, is this scoring a hot stud? Three princes? Wait, does that include me too? Duh! The third one's gotta be me! I seriously doubt that. Chie! <laughs> yes, she's my prince. She always leads the way. Chie's a strong prince. Or at least she was. Was? When it comes down to it, Chie's just not good enough. She can't take me away from here. She can't save me. Yukiko! Stop. Historic Inn? Manager training? I'm sick of all these things chaining me down! I never asked to be born here. Everything's decided for me. From I'm so sick of it! To hell with it all! That's not true. I just want to go somewhere far away. Anywhere but here. Someone please take me away. I can't leave here on my own. I'm completely useless. Stop. I have no hope if I stay and no courage to leave. So I sit on my ass hoping that someday my prince will come. I don't care where we go. Anywhere's fine. As long as it's not here, I don't give a damn. Historical tradition, pride of the town, what a bunch of bullshit. How dare you? That's how I really feel. Isn't that right, me? No. Stop! Don't say it! No! You're not me! <laughs> oh, this feels wonderful. It's building. More and more. If this keeps up, I'll... I'll... <laughs> <laughs> Yukiko! We have to stop it! That girl's in danger! We know! It's alright, Yukiko. Just hang in there! We'll save you! I am a shadow, the true self. Now, my prince, why don't we dance and make merry together? <laughs> Hang in there, Yukiko! I'm right here for you! Oh, really? Then I'll make sure to give you plenty to deal with! Come on! Let's go! 
trying to make me mad? Show me this strength of yours. Come, my prince. <laughs>
hand. It's weak to electricity. Go! idea. You're no princes. Die, you worthless commoners! Yosuke scared! Yosuke! 
Jeez, hurt! It's cornered! You're nearly there! You're in my way! Are you okay, Sensei? Someone heal him! Sensei, mind your health, okay? Count on you! Persona! Persona! No, I'm not. We understand. You're not the only one like that, Yukiko-san. Everyone has something they can't show to other people, or don't want to admit to themselves. Yukiko, I'm sorry. I was so self-centered that I never understood what you were going through. I'm your friend, and I still... I'm so sorry. Chie. I was always jealous of you, Yukiko. You had everything that I didn't. That jealousy was like a wall, and I was so lonely. I wanted you to need me. But it was me who needed you. I can't do anything right on my own. I've caused so much trouble for Yosuke and the others. If you weren't by my side, I... I wouldn't know what to do. Chie, I never saw the real you either. I was too busy trying to find an easy way out. I want to run away. I want someone to save me. You're right. Those feelings are part of me too. I understand now. You're me. Are you okay? Yes, I'm just a little tired. You all came to rescue me. Of course! Thank you. <laughs> Don't even mention it. I'm just so glad you're safe! <laughs> right on. So, who threw you in here? Huh? Who are you? Rather, what are you? I'm Teddy! So who threw you in? I don't know. I think... someone called my name. But my memory's a blur. I can't remember who it was. I'm sorry... um... Teddy? No new clues. 
Not necessarily. Now we know for sure that someone threw Yukiko-san in here. Hmm. Then it really isn't you guys. <laughs> Just joking. You little... You're one lying sack of honey. Anyways, let's hurry back home. Yukiko looks exhausted. Thanks again, Teddy. Wait, you're leaving me here? Leaving you? What are you talking about? You live here. Well, yeah, but... I'm sorry, Teddy. I promise to come again. So be a good boy and wait here until then. My, it's getting crowded here. Why don't you and I go somewhere else? Come on, pretty please. Ah, you're giving me the creeps. That's it, you're stuck here for the rest of your life. Yukiko, are you all right? You're not hurt anywhere, are you? No, I'm just a little tired. I'm sorry, but I don't remember anything. Well, no worries. You're safe, and that's more than enough. But there's no mistake that Yukiko-san was, um, attacked the same way as the last two victims. And I think the one we saw on the Midnight Channel wasn't the real Yukiko-san, but her shadow. Maybe the things Yukiko-san was suppressing in this world took form in the TV. You know, Teddy was saying something like that. It's no use. I'm just going round and round in circles. What kind of person could be doing this? Yeah, we can go over it some other day. Yukiko really needs to get some rest. I'll take her home. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Yukiko-san must be exhausted. We'll talk about all this some more once she gets her strength back. Got off work at the same time, so I'm giving him a ride back to his place. I thought we might as well swing by. Nice to meet you. I'm Adachi, the guy who's been your dad's slave since spring. I can still work you harder, you know. <laughs> a good one, sir. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. You're friends with Yukiko Amagi, right? They found her safe and sound. Tell all your friends at school. Yeah, for us on the force, too. But this doesn't mean the case is closed, though. We were just questioning Miss Amagi. But she says she doesn't remember anything that happened while she was missing. And we can't figure out her whereabouts during the missing period, either. It's like she really disappeared. It's all pretty fishy, if you ask me. Like there's something else going on. Ow! Stop blabbering, dumbass. Sorry. Ignore him. He's just spouting some wild fantasy. Yeah, don't give it a second thought. Sheesh. He's a real pain sometimes. I'm hungry. <laughs> You're right. My stomach's growling too. <laughs> so you do have a softer side around Nanako-chan, sir. Shut up and sit down. Wash those hands first. Hm. I should do the same. Hmm. 
Yo!
Hey! Okay.
Due to the weekend rainfall, clear skies seem unlikely in the area. A thick fog is expected to set in tonight and remain until tomorrow morning, with heaviest concentration in the Inaba area. Anyone planning to go out tonight should take care. Now for our hourly weather breakdown. More fog, huh? There's been a lot of that lately. Uh, uh, uh. What did I say about changing the channel without asking? Have a great day, even during Golden Week, at your local Juness. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. Dad, they're going to be open during Golden Week. <laughs> I heard. Do you want to go somewhere during the long holiday? Uh, we can go somewhere? How about it? Got any plans yet? Then let's all go somewhere together! Junus, 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 Junus! <laughs> you sure you want to go to Juness? We can go there anytime. Come on, girl. Time for bed. It's late. All right. Every day's great at your Juness. Oh, good morning. Um, yes, I I'm better now. I'll be coming to school again, so th that'll be nice. <laughs> I caused everyone some real trouble. I'm sorry. No, sorry isn't quite right. What I mean to say is thank you. My mother's back to work already. The maids are being really supportive, and I think things are going even smoother than before. I wonder if I was trying too hard. I may have been too caught up in the idea that I had to do everything myself. Ever since the incident, I feel like I can think about these things more calmly. But it's still kind of embarrassing. You guys saw everything, even the things I didn't want to admit. Thanks. Yukiko! Oh, it's Chie! Well, I'll talk to you later.
Sorry to keep you waiting. The soap was yours, right, Chie? Thanks! Oh, that smells so good! These instant noodles are just the thing to help me through club. How much longer do I have to wait on this? It still needs a few minutes. So why are we here? Oh yeah, we were gonna ask Yukiko what happened. Yukiko-san, I hate to bring up stuff you'd rather not think about, but I need to ask you again. Did you recall anything about when you got kidnapped? No. I thought I might remember something if I let it sit for a while, but as time passes, it only gets hazier. I think... The doorbell rang at the entrance, and someone called for me. But when I woke up after that, I was already in the castle. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. But does this mean her visitor is the culprit? I don't know. If it's true, then that's one daring criminal. What kind of killer would ring the doorbell? The police are probably looking for witnesses, but I don't think we can expect much from them. <laughs> As if the culprit wore bright yellow clothes at the scene of the crime. I wonder why whoever it is would do stuff like this. We won't know until we confront them ourselves. But we can be sure of one thing. It's no coincidence that people keep ending up in that place. Someone on our side is definitely kidnapping them and throwing them into the TV. It's murder, all right. Oh yeah, we never told you. This guy and me are gonna catch the culprit ourselves. The police are out of their league on this case, but we got personas. Oh, okay. I'm helping out too! I can't believe someone would throw people into a place like that. I'm gonna sock whoever's doing this. Chie. Let me help too. I want to know why this is happening. Especially if someone hates me so much they want to kill me. I don't want to run away from myself anymore. All right, then let's all work together and catch this asshole! Agreed. But how are we gonna find them? We don't have a single lead yet! I'm the third one to be targeted so far, but I have a feeling this isn't the end of it. If we had an idea of who might be targeted next, wouldn't we have an advantage over the killer? So we'll outsmart them, huh? Yeah, that might work. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out what ties the victims together. First, there was that announcer, Mayumi Yamano. Second, was Saki Konishi, senpai. Third, was Yukiko Amagi. What do they all have in common? Bingo. Plus, they're all women. How dare he target females! Now that's unforgivable. The culprit's gotta be some kind of pervert. Also, what about this? The second and third victims had some sort of connection to the first one. Hey, that's right! Yukiko and Saki-senpai both had connections to that announcer! That's true. Then, does that mean females connected in some way to Miss Yamano's case are being targeted? I think that's a safe assumption for now. There's another angle we can take, too. If another person disappears... You think they'd be on that Midnight Channel? That happened right before Yukiko was kidnapped, too! Yeah, it's hard to tell who at first, but what's important is, it's happened before the victims disappeared. 
kind of like a ransom note. We still don't know why that happens, but we'll have to rely on it for now. The next time it rains. By the way, aren't those done by now? Whoa, that's right! Chow time! Hey, could I try just a little bit of that? Just one tiny bite? Hands off the soba, pal! Go get your own if you want some! Okay, just one bite, got it? Do you want to try some? It's so good! The aroma, the flavor, and the texture all combined. This is perfect! I hope you guys understand what this means. Wait, 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 stop. I'm sorry. I'll buy you steak. It'll be on me. You hear me? The very best. Steak? My tofu. Come on, Yukiko. There's steak in it for us now. We can eat instant noodles anytime we want, right? As long as it isn't too fatty. Okay, we've reached the verdict. You are hereby sentenced to buying a steak. What wouldn't be too fatty? Filet? Ooh, filet sounds nice and expensive. Filet, 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 filet mignon. Hey, you've got a pony up too. You're just as much to blame. Man, talk about great timing. We just started serving grilled steak today. We're doing our part to spread this town's specialty dish. Plus, we've already got an excellent grill. That's just a yakisoba griddle. Oh, well, steak is steak. It's far from a filet steak, though. Yukiko, are you okay with this? It's not too heavy for you? I'll eat it. I'm still mad. So back on topic. I wonder what kind of person the culprit is. If you focus just on the announcer's case, it seems like a revenge thing. Maybe it was her lover's wife. But Masuzu Hiragi had a solid alibi, didn't she? And it seemed like she was already separated from her husband. Really? You know an awful lot about this. Okay, what about the second case? Saki-senpai. She found the announcer's body. Assuming the same person killed them both, then why target Senpai? Yeah, I think so too. Maybe she found a clue or something about the culprit. But the killer just threw the announcer into a TV, right? I don't think he would have left evidence the police, much less a high school student, would catch. Yeah, exactly. Man. I thought the countryside would be a snooze, but it's proving to be a lot more exciting than I thought. Oh, they updated the menu. Huh? Isn't he that detective? Hey, you were at Dojima-san's. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, wait. Hey, this is great timing after all. Dojima-san said that he'll be leaving work on schedule tonight. Could you pass that on to Nanaka-chan? Yo, I'm Adachi, Dojima-san's gopher. Uh, I mean, his partner. Are you this busy every day? Huh? Oh, well, the public seems to be getting a charge out of these cases, but we can't leave it at that. Sorry to butt in, but could it be that the killer targeted Saki-senpai in order to silence her? Um, you sure get to the heart of the matter. Yikes! <laughs> 
Of course, we're also thinking along those lines. She was killed right after the announcer's body was found. If the killer was trying to silence her, there might have been something at the scene only she would have understood. Which would mean that the culprit may be someone close to Miss Konishi. Nothing like that points to Misuzu Hiragi, so... Oh, I might have stumbled across something here. Wait, are you listening to all that? Crap, me and my big mouth. Uh, don't tell anyone I said any of that, or Dojima-san will flay me alive. <clears throat> Relax, kids. The police are on the job. See ya. You were right, Yosuke. The police are totally useless. Ah! My steak's getting cold! Could you shut up about the steak for five seconds? <laughs>